that are prompting Philadelphia police to launch a crackdown on dangerous driving today. And you may know what it's like to get caught up in the rat race of the morning rush, but officers are encouraging people slow down and stay safe. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live along Aramingo Avenue in Port Richmond with more on this traffic enforcement blitz. Corey, good morning. Eliana and Tam, good morning. Officers are saying everyone seems to be in a hurry, but as you said, they're encouraging people to slow down. They will be increasing their enforcement. We'll see marked vehicles in certain sections of Aramingo Avenue, including where we are here by the Aramingo Crossing Shopping Center, where a lot of people tend to go. I want to give you a look there at a closer look at the map. There were officers will be increasing enforcement along Aramingo between Somerset and Frankfurt Creek, as well as Island Avenue between Bartram and Woodland in southwest Philadelphia. Police say they've been looking at ways to reduce the number of crashes and fatalities along those two busy corridors. People who frequent the area say it's a welcomed change. Because it's always congested. Everyone, like I said, everyone's in a hurry to go nowhere. So maybe that'll stop and things will get better. Can only hope. We do, we do need to see more cops patrolling, at least to flag them for high rate of speeds and for just taking everybody right away. Nobody have no respect anymore. They see you coming, they just cut you off. And right now, the number of traffic related deaths is also down. Uh, police say last year at this point, there were 71 traffic related fatalities and that currently there have been at least 61. Police say that's a slight decrease and it of course is not enough. They want to do more and they say they're going to be issuing more tickets. So far, they've been reporting at least 9,000 more tickets written than they did last year. ATV riders and car meetups will also be a major focus for police moving forward in their enforcement initiatives. Once again, that initiative here on Aramingo Avenue as well as Island Avenue starts today and it goes through Friday, August 30th. Reporting live here in Port Richmond, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Corey, thank you.